welcome, welcome uh, Thanks, to the Tonight Show. Uh, th thanks for coming on. It's great Thank to you. see you. I, I yeah. heard that you uh, you actually just <clears throat> came back from Italy. Like, yeah. Like recently. Like yeah, like just right before I came here. We were in uh, Tuscany for a wedding that uh, Dakota Johnson was, was not at. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah, she should have uh, should have. It wasn't the one. <laughs> it wasn't the one. She, she, she picks crashed. one a year that she yeah, crashes, yeah. 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 <laughs> one once a lifetime, she'll crash away. One lucky couple. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it wasn't that one. Oh, Tuscany must have been beautiful. Be yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. I, I've um, never been there. I want to go. Oh, really? It's nice. We went to Florence, and we go whenever we go to any foreign country. My wife Naomi, she's really good about. She's one of those people that like brushes up on the language and is like oh. essentially fluent by the time we get there. Oh, cool. And. Which is great because everyone like comments on how good she is and she gets us around. But it, it also, I'm just such I'm such an idiot because I I don't I don't know anything. Like I don't know I, I struggle like saying hello. I don't even know a word. One word. No. No. And but so I, I I I always like find myself and it's so lame and so uh, 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 embarrassing. But I always I always end up like. Like saying English words with like a terrible, like a like an approximation of of an accent, like <laughs> like the other day I really did find myself saying, uh, yes, uh, do, do you do you have a a, a phone charger? Uh, yes, uh, um, uh, yes, please. And the guy's like, do you need a phone charger? I can. <laughs> Just get you a phone you're charger. You're the one with the phone. Uh, uh, that's the worst. Uh, you say, uh, uh, how do you say a uh, phone? Uh, uh, grazie. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that's so oh, funny. So uh, we were talking backstage, and uh, we were talking about, you said that you met uh, one of your favorite actors of all time, uh, yeah. the great Al Pacino. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I've, I've never gotten to meet Al Pacino. You haven't met Al Pacino? No, but I love Al Pacino. Oh, my God. Uh, he's one of my faves as well. Yeah, he's like my very... That's fav your... You know, actors, you know, it's Al Pacino. It's That's the, your guy. He's Yeah, he's my guy, and he's kind of the guy. And we were at the Vanity Fair Oscar party, which is like all famous. Like, it's the place you go if you want to feel less famous, because <laughs> they're all there. Everyone's there, yeah. yeah. And... I was talking to Kevin Bacon, which is also very cool, and he was like, hey, I was just talking to Al Pacino, and I was like, oh, Al, Pac Al Pacino's here? He's like, yeah, he's right over there. You should go check it out. Check no, out Al Pacino. That's it's my guy. That's your dude. And so I grab Naomi, I grab my wife, and I'm like, let's go look at Al Pacino. I don't want to... <laughs> like, Talk to him. No, of course no. not. No, what would I say? Like it's like the Mona Lisa. Right. You, could just, you just gotta go look at it. Take a gander. Take a gander at Al Pacino. Yeah. So I, she's like, oh come on. So we go over and I find this spot like 15 yards. Sure enough, he's right there. He's on like this couch with a bunch of people, and I find the spot. It's like under a potted palm tree, so we're kind of <laughs> hidden. <laughs> and I'm just like, let's just look at him for five minutes, and then we can get out go. of here. Yeah. And so we're there, and I'm like, it's him. He's there. And I'm, I'm, I see him. I kind of glance. I'm like, yeah, he's there. There he is. And he's talking to people. Take another look over. He's still there. It's awesome. And then it was like the third time I looked, it was like a horror movie or something, because the third time I look, he's just looking right at me. <laughs> and he's like, oh. And not only is he looking at me, he like looks at me, and then he starts getting up and walks over like uh, one of those Ottoman slash footrest things, this giant thing, and he's like climbing over it, coming straight at us. And I'm like, oh, Al, Al Pacino, he's coming, he's coming. Al Pacino is like walking over to us. Yeah. And sure enough, he comes right up and he's like, I can't, I, I don't really do a, a Pacino, you, I'm, you do, so I right? Try, okay, sure. okay. Uh, he goes, uh, oh, I, 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 I I love your show. So, I I love your show. Yes. Yeah. I love yeah. Se yeah. Severance. Severance. I love Severance. I love Severance. I Al love, Pacino says said, that to I you. I love Severance, and my son and I watch it together. Yeah, I know. What, what did you say back? I, I was like, you have no idea. I was here. I just wanted to look at you. <laughs> and. <laughs> This is the bonus. And I, there's, I, I was like, he'll never believe me, but that's what I was doing here, was looking at you, and I'm like, because you're my guy. You're the best one. Wow. You're my favorite. You got to say that to him. Yeah, I said it to him. Good for you. Yeah. You, I, I, you brought a photo, which I asked. I, I think here's a photo of you and Al Pacino yeah. right there. Yeah. The one and only.
That's a moment right there. Yeah, yeah. He asked me for a, a photo. It was crazy. How cool yeah, is I that? Yeah, I know. It was pretty cool. Uh, I, everyone loves uh, uh, Severance, by the way. Congrats to the reviews, the rave reviews on this show. Oh, thank you. Uh, we had Ben Stiller on the show for, uh, for uh, Severance when it first he directed a few episodes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you crush it in this show. It's so good. Thanks. Congrats on the success of it. Thank it just you. got picked up for season two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you. It's so... It's such a great idea, and it's so well executed. Uh, congrats on that. Thanks. Can you describe... How do you describe the, the show to people? Yeah, it's it's weird. It's like a, a sort of a, a workplace thriller sort of comedy where it takes place in a world where... Lumen Industries is this company who has this technology, insert a microchip into your brain. So when you cross the threshold at your work, at your job, suddenly you don't know who you are in the outside world. It separates your memories. So all you know is work. And then when you leave work at the end of the day, it deactivates the chip. So you have no memory of who you are at work or what you did there. So it just completely separates your two realities, work and life. Yeah. And it's so well done, it's so well shot, and it gets tricky, and you're fantastic in it. Thanks, man. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Adam Scott in Severance. Take a look. Clearly, he was trying to tell you something. Uh, no. Go like a boot, Mark. You're more loyal to this place than to your friend. I'm loyal to how it felt around here before you showed up. You mean when Petey was here? Yeah, because there was balance. We could have fun and work without the whole department imploding. The work is The work is mysterious and important. And we deal with the uncertainty it brings us in the way that Kier would have wanted. Together. As a family. I could not, with a razor to my throat, be less interested in being your family. Yeah! Oh, come on! Severance is streaming now on Apple TV+. Carrie Underwood performs after the break. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.